Hi there again guys, so today we finally finish our banana tutorial. In the last episode we did a soft body test, so today we're going to do shading and lighting. We're just going to learn a bit about gradients and how to set up a custom gradient shader. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to open up Blender 2.81. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a collection of gradients because today we're going to work with custom shading now these gradients i think i found them on pinterest pinterest is really good if you ever need like ideas for color palettes basically we have like a huge selection of gradients like two-tone gradients which i think should work really well in this case now let's click on our banana so let's select our banana and we're going to make a new material which is over here uh, if you have no Wrangler enabled, just select the principal BSDF, Control T, and you'll have the texture coordinate, the mapping node, and the image texture ready. We don't actually need the image texture, we're just gonna search for a color ramp. So we're gonna put it above here, connected to the base output, and a gradient texture. And we're going to connect the factorial to the factorial of the color ramp and the vector to the gradient texture vector. We're going to connect the generated to the vector of the mapping node and that's basically it. Now we can actually start to do some stuff. We're just going to choose two of these, uh, let's say just one of these combinations, so two colors. And I think this one seems pretty fun to try out. So I'm just going to go over to my color ramp and I'm just gonna click on the hex code and copy the hex code. In this case, it's going to be the orange one, but feel free to test any, any codes that you might think are interesting. We're just gonna use this one. So this one is FCCF31, and we get this type of gradient. We're gonna go into our camera view by pressing zero on the numpad, and we're gonna go into the look development so we can see what's happening with our banana. We can now start editing our shader. Basically, we can just move the color ramp so we can have more of the other color. It's also good to change to B spline or ease if you want to have like a, like a softer type of gradient. The main thing we can influence is the rotation. Right now you can see it's distributed like on each side. We don't want that. We want to just place it randomly along the object. And we'll just use a bit of like rotation, let's say on the Z axis, on the Y axis. Try and find like a place where you think the gradient is working well. In this case, I'm trying to figure out like where where it's going to, let's say, start light at the top and then finish off dark in the bottom. You can also help yourself by setting like this very straight line and then trying to rotate it along, uh, moving it on the different axes also. That's also a good thing to do. So if you want to have like this type of thing, you can then rotate it, let's say we rotate it by 180 degrees and then move it on the x-axis. And now it's basically going to activate itself along the middle of the banana. So something like that actually looks kind of interesting. For the background, we're gonna do just a very simple, like light blue background. We can also, again, help ourselves with the color palette here. And I think this aquamarine over here, it's like really interesting. So I'm just gonna copy that one. Yeah, like so. So basically I'm just gonna put the roughness over there. Specular, it's okay. And we can also try some stuff with our little knob over here. You can just add a new material and a thing you can try if you have any PBR textures, which is actually a really good trick to try, is shift control t and basically this is going to open up your blender search and search for your pbr textures just choose the textures you want in this case i'm just going to choose like a gun metal type of scratch thing and then when you select them it's going to add them into your material just ready to go we just have to change a couple of things since we didn't actually unwrap our cylinder over here 
we can change this from UV to generated, which is just going to be completely fine. Uh, strength, we can lower it down just a bit, let's say to 0 0.5. And we can also try with the invert node when it comes down to roughness. So we can have like a different, let's say less roughness, more roughness, that's fine. We can also detach the base color and then just select, let's say, a, a silver one because we want to have like sort of a silver knob. But in any case, this is basically it. We're just going to put on a couple of lights and we'll see how that looks. So I set up the shader, I set up everything. Now before we f do the final touches, we're just gonna go here into our render properties tab, choose cycles, move to GPU and experimental, and we get this. So basically I've just set up really simple plane emission. Uh, we can see like we have a couple of shadow problems here. We can just move the background just a bit, let's say back like so. Can make it just a bit bigger but again this is this then depends on what you want to focus on in the scene for example let's say that we want to just focus on the banana falling on the actual cylinder so we're just gonna play our animation so our animation is done we can see basically how and when it falls now we're gonna move to the camera and we're gonna, let's say, close in to the actual cylinder, like so. We can also help ourselves by going into Viewport Display, Composition Guides, and choose Thirds. So we have, like, the cylinder in the actual, let's say, middle third, that kind of thing. Let's try the animation again, so we just see where the banana actually falls. So we can see that this is like the highest point where it bounces, so maybe we can move the camera just a bit up. Let's see if the... yeah, the, yeah, that actually kind of works, yeah, cool. Let's stop it there, shift Z to see rendered, and that's basically what we end up with. If you don't like the actual principled uh, thing, you can always opt out and just delete this because I, I'm really not feeling this one I'm just gonna go like do something like very very simple like this this type of look over here maybe just increase this so it's wider and that's basically gonna be it this is going to be your gradient texture like I said texture coordinate into a mapping node gradient texture and then try and use color gradients that you can find online from UX designs because they usually have really good and really interesting color palette choices so that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, another quick one with this one we finished our uh, banana so hopefully you've learned something from it if you enjoyed this video drop a like leave a comment i always appreciate those and see you in the next one